Hi friends. This video we are going to discuss about blue prism. One of blue prism currently introducing machine learning and artificial intelligence based visual business objects. That is one of the new visual business objects that we found in Blue Prism is approximate matching or buzzy matching. That object, that visual business object name is approximate matching. How it works? See, internally they are using two of the algorithms to implement those logics that one algorithm is Jaro Wingler distance that another an algorithm they are using internally is Levenstein distance see the purpose of this VBO is it matches the exact value suppose you have string 1 some values string 2 some values it will compare those text fields and it will give you the exact matches or else ratios the purpose of this subject is to contain a few actions that uses approximate matching algorithm to compare those two text fields. So this allow developers to identify how closely two text strings are intended potentially desired if the two strings can be can be classed as the same or else something different. So where this will be useful? Which of the scenarios it should be useful? Suppose you want to select some of the screen element based on some user input or text value which you cannot guaranteed to correct match in previously. Suppose Think through that you have some text with you in your text pad or notepad. You want to match those text into your website to some areas and that screen element you have to capture on it. So in that case, this approximate matching or busy matching visual business object will be useful on it. See where I can see uh, these uh, algorithms and these visual business objects. This visual business object you can see Blue Prism skills. Blue Prism has new digital exchange pattern for machine learning purpose. So here you can see how these algorithms will work. Jaro Wingler is one of the algorithm. So how exactly it will work? Suppose, see here I am using Python cell script. So first of all, the purpose of this script is how exactly matching two strings. And I am first I am going to import sequence matcher this is one of the matching script in python i have to import from diplib okay from diplib i'm importing sequence matcher
Once I import the sequence matcher, I have to calculate the values. Here the sequence matcher is case sensitive. So I want to match 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. How much percentage or how much ratio this sequence is matching? Sorry, I want to match instead of ratio as mentioned as Ration that is wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So now I want to match a dot ratio. Here you can see. It is matching with 0.85 percentage. Now I am matching sequence match. One, two, three, or else A, B, C. Here A, B, C. Okay, I want to define sequence matcher again from div import sequence matcher D is equal to sequence matcher. Now I want to check this, these two things are exactly matching or else some values are mismatching. Here you can see the ratio is on 1, 1 1.0 which is exactly matching. This ABCD and ABCD is matching the 100 percentage. See the clear uh, here they are using internally this type of sequence matchers in this algorithm gyro bengler distance here you can see you can see how the this gyro bengler distance in in wikipedia this is the one of the algorithm and it will give you a distance or metric values between two sequences it's created by William Winkler See, the main purpose of Jero Winkler is get the distance between two sequences Here you can see See previously I was shown you the sequence matcher. The same way, Jaro Wingler also you have to import in your Python. The next video I can show you how to import into your Python 
cell and once you inputted you have to use all the functions of zero angular distance to get the sequence of two different distance the levinstein distance also the one of the algorithm this called it the minimum number of single character edits in the next video we can see very elaborately how this zero wingler and levinstein distance of uh, uh, machine learning algorithm will work See, once you imported this approximate matching or Bessie matching VPO, string matcher VPO, you can see the select best match from one of the auction is available in, in the objects and you have to take the collection of value and find your item in the collection that most closely matches the text you want to find. Suppose you want to match the text as ABCD the same value will be uh, available or not the check will be you can check during the action of select best match from this was originally created for a project that needed to find a specific item in a combo box where the values in the combo box could not be guaranteed as always matching the text exactly. Suppose you have a combo box with more than some BPS to some problems, we have a combo box with more than 500 and 600 row items. So we have to match those values into specific item with a web page. So in that case, this string matching will give you the exact ratio or exact uh, returning true or false within a second so what is the benefits of using those algorithm it uses algorithm to compare different text things see the when using your business business object you don't need to take care of this algorithm how it will work but the thing is in machine learning world you must know about some basics of algorithms and how it will work in that area. See, this is the algorithm to compare different text things to help decide if they match. It allows the robots to intelligently decide if text is correct or as expected. It includes an action to find the nearest matching text out of multiple options. See, how to install this one? You have to import the object into blue Simply how, simply how you you are importing the objects into blue prism, the same way. How to use once you imported that object into blue prism, then probably you can. It will be available in your in blue prism environment. The actions in approximate string matching object will be available for you to use in your own solutions. Where I can found this BBO, you can get it from Blue Prism Skills. Blue Prism has started a digital exchange for machine learning integration with RPA. So you can get it from there and you can use it and you can check how these algorithms are working on it. So before using this algorithm, you can use some basic, you have to check some basic concept of how algorithms are working in Python scripts. Here I, can, I was showed you that sequence matcher is one of the example of the distance 